The mystery of the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, the Blessed Trinity is the core of the Christian faith. If anything unites Christians of different denominations is this great mystery, that God is three persons, yet one God. This mystery, as difficult as it is to explain, is a truth that has been revealed to us through scripture and tradition. There have been many attempts by theologians over the centuries to try to explain the Trinity. They have used various images, some have been complicated ones, others relatable images to our human nature as being created in the image and likeness of God. Like St. Augustine, for example, he used the fact that our intellect has understanding, memory, and will. Three faculties, yet one intellect, as a model for the Trinity. Another simple but brilliant example was St. Patrick. He explained the mystery of the Holy Trinity to the Irish people by using a shamrock, a small grass that has three leaves in one stem. Father Joseph Krempa, in a homely reflection on the Holy Trinity, said that the doctrine of the Trinity was not a super scientific discovery, as though the early church fathers looked at God through a high power telescope and saw three persons. The doctrine of the Trinity puts into words the Christian experience of God as revealed through Jesus Christ. And this is so true. God revealed himself through the prophets to be a faithful God, slow to anger, rich in kindness. And at a point, at a point in time, God revealed himself through Jesus Christ. Jesus said to Philip, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? And after Jesus' ascension into heaven, God continues to reveal himself through the Holy Spirit. And he says, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. My dear friends, we will never be able to fully understand and clearly explain this great mystery until we are face to face with our God. But until then, we believe in faith, what has been passed down to us from the apostles, that God is three persons, yet one God.